was really hot that day. It was like 108 degrees. I'm gonna go on my ride with my friend. He was just going off and was gonna come back and have pizza with us and uh, he didn't show up. So we would text him and there was no reply. We got a radio call saying that we were getting a young individual male with severe brain injury. Some guy was like on like a, I'm going to kill someone spree that day. And when he attacked me, he didn't stop. He was going like 45 to 50 miles an hour. So the phone rang. It said Kaiser Permanente. And I thought, why is Kaiser calling me? Tariq arrived to the trauma center and showed signs that his brain was under a tremendous amount of pressure. And if we didn't act urgently, it'd be imminently life-threatening. Often in trauma, time is of the essence. We have a trauma intensive care unit. We have five trauma surgeons who are also fellowship trained in critical care. So they manage these patients on a day-to-day -day basis in conjunction with the neurosurgeons. He was in the operating room within 40 minutes with Dr. Banerjee, our neurosurgeon. And all that can be coordinated because all of us are on the same page about how these patients need to be treated. I woke up in the ICU on my mom's birthday. He's doing really, really well. He had an excellent outcome. But it's a miracle, really. It's a definite miracle. Tariq is a good example of what can happen when a whole team that are committed to delivering an excellent outcome. There's nothing more rewarding than to see a young individual like this with such a severe injury get back into the community. The doctors, uh, the nurses, uh, all the support people put him in a place where he could fight it so that he could uh, achieve what he wanted to achieve. I'm just gonna be like this rockin' dude that just like survived this near fatal crash and I'm just gonna like be proud of it and not take everything for granted and be thankful for the small things in life.